Black Hat is a InfoSec con that uh, caters to kind of like all all facets of where you are in your career. It's great, we call it Hacker Summer Camp, and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity. The Black Hat Network Security Conference is one of the largest information security conferences with speakers coming from all over the world. Black Hat NOC really is a partnership of different vendors that were brought on by Black Hat to help secure the network, to help stand up the network with best of breed hardware and software. The Network Operations Center here at Black Hat is a pressure cooker. It is an extremely intense environment with a lot of interesting data. The knock is like a, a fishbowl. There's a big room with a false wall that people can come in one door, see live dashboards of what's happening on the screens. We're hunting, we're, we're uh, making sure things are secure. We're working tickets uh, just like any other stock. We're here for a little over a week and we have to have a fully operational knock and sock to protect the network and to offer the, you know, the services of that network to our attendees. We have to make sure we have a very stable network that is there for the trainers and the students and everybody who joins the network to make sure they can do what they need to do for those class and trainings, but they can't attack each other. They can't go after infrastructure. Uh, the training that takes place could be anything from hacking Kubernetes, uh, AWS, Azure, um, to reverse engineering with Ghidra, and you know, anywhere in between. Looking to make sure that attendees aren't attacking each other to try out new techniques that they've learned in their classes. Uh, making sure that they're not attacking companies <laughs> that, that haven't paid them to do that. Black Hat is very challenging from other networks. I would say that it's uh, sort of like the Ides of March. The Black Hat Security Conference Network is a wild west by design. These other conferences average maybe one, 1 1.2, two devices per attendee. Come to Black Hat, five, six devices per attendee. So a huge number of them. The one thing that makes this a little extra challenging is we see things that are bad. Black Hat, we have to determine, is this an attack against infrastructure backbone? Is this attack against classroom? Or is this something that you paid a lot of money to be at that class to learn how to do? As a former incident responder, there's that juice or, you know, that, 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 uh, that feeling that you get when you're actively investigating a potential incident to closure right here, we get to do that regularly. A lot of the network information that we see is you know, malicious by nature, but it's toward lab machines and things like that. What they're doing here is practicing those new skills against live targets that they're authorized to attack, lab infrastructure, things that the instructor has set up for them to attack. And as a result, we will see all kinds of traffic on this network that in an enterprise circumstance, you would look at and instantly say, nobody should be doing that here, we need to block it. We call it black hat positive. So this is something where you would absolutely block in a corporate environment, but we let it fly here because it's a training. Maybe it's a demo, maybe you're a vendor on the floor. If we block that, you're gonna be mad at us. And, and the attendees certainly won't accept putting an endpoint security solution on those devices. The only things that we have endpoint protection on is registration systems. So all of our attendees, the majority of our visibility, the majority of what is happening across that is coming from network. A lot of what we do in the Black Hat Network Operations Center is to subjectively look at that traffic and evaluate all of the circumstances surrounding it. In the Black Hat NOC, we work with partners. We, as the NOC leadership, go and choose the partners that we want based on their technology and what they provide in the NOC. Corelight, we provide the network visibility. We are the network traffic analytics partner. Our position there is to watch the network, to monitor for any threats, and then to report those using enrichments from our partners and integrations that we've built while we're here. We're generating alerts on, those, on that traffic, uh, anything from looking for exploitation to looking for signs of uh, compromise or command and control. We monitor the backbone. We watch our switches, we watch our APs. We have, I think this year, we have a team of eight threat hunters, two, two shifts of four, and they're in there looking at the data the entire time, finding interesting things. This thing is happening against this system. We need to go talk to this person in this room who's doing something illegal in that classroom. We provide visibility into the network uh, using our 
you know, open NDR, Zeek, and Suricata uh, with additional enrichments. Corelight is providing our investigator tool with uh, Smart PCAP, our threat intel enrichments we have in CrowdStrike and ET Pro. We send our data to multiple sources. We have a stack, and that includes Palo Alto for our next gen firewall. They also provide XIM for SIM ingestion and they provide uh, XOR for automation. We have Cisco is there for Umbrella for threat intel. They also do Sandbox Analyzer for Cisco Malware Analytics. So any files that we see on the wire, we take off the wire, we send them to them to detonate. And Cisco also provides MDM, the managed defense for mobile devices, our iOS devices and registration. And they also have Thousand Eyes. Lumen is our internet service provider and they have Intel and some DDoS protection. Our backbone, our TAP AG, and our switches is Arista, and Arista also provides our access points. And then we have NetWitness in there as our another partner, and they also have network visibility and PCAP. Commonly during the, the knock tours, people want to know, of course, about things like, what do you see? What's interesting? Yeah, there are some, some really interesting findings. Finding new and interesting behaviors on access points and switches and how you know the firewalls are supposed to work, but then how they actually work. Malware uh, on attendee machines when they didn't know. You bring 20, 22,000 people uh, all to one place. A couple of those devices are probably have malware on them. In this conference, I, I found a device that had apparently a couple of different pieces of malware on them, but they were, they've were they long since been neutered. Like two, three years ago, uh, those domains have been taken over by law enforcement and just sinkholed. Uh, but these devices still have the malware on them because it's just never been caught. People deciding that they were going to perform penetration testing uh, on legitimate businesses and then configuration um, you know, uh, opportunities, we'll call them. Found presenters that have had their machines compromised and worked our best to, uh, to find them and let them know. Where you have the ability to assess network traffic, do it, right? I think that it is a treasure trove of information uh, and it really keeps the analytical mind going. If you can, if you do find yourself at Black Hat, please come by the knock, come see us, and I'd love to tell you all about it.